what the police do is, is picking up the pieces and making sure that they refer on to the best possible services so that that victim is well looked after throughout the process. Kim McGuinness was elected last summer to Police and Crime Commissioner. In that time, she's wanted to take a look at a more complex picture of policing. Now, victim services across the Northumbria Force area are to receive more than a million pounds. And what that's there for is to support those victims who are most in need, most vulnerable, people who have experienced the worst possible crimes, and to make sure that they are centric to the journey and that they're properly looked after. It's really important to us in Northumbria that we do that, so I'm really pleased to make this announcement. For those services, this is their bread and butter. They are experts in what they do, which is why we work with, with so many of these charities. And, and to them, obviously, it's an important funding stream, but I think most importantly, it allows them to continue to do the invaluable work that they do with people who are victims of crime and people who often have really complex needs, complex stories, and might need to be supported for really quite a long time. I think, I think often people think of crime as something that happens in the moment and don't necessarily think about sometimes that very, very long recovery that victims have. It's the first round of victims' funds to be announced this year, with more on the way over the coming weeks. Streetwise in Newcastle is one of the first to benefit. They offer advice and counselling to young people aged 13 to 25. They've said they are thankful that their vital services can continue.